Hey, what's up? That beat here. Today we're going to break down the beat from Kanye West's Runaway. Let's check it out. the drums runaway is interesting because it's a sample of a sample so pete rock and cl smooth made a song called the basement that sampled expo 83 by the backyard heavies both of these are going to be in the description kanye sampled the basement so it's a sample of a sample but to make things more difficult for us let's go back to the original drum break and try to reconstruct it here's what that sounds like All right, so let's start off with some chopping. So first we need to get this to sound like. First, what we need to do is kind of segment it, isolate it into different sections. So we want to take that downbeat up to, but not including the first snare, so. Right? And then we don't want that first snare, we want the second snare, so. That. So we have a downbeat, we have a snare, and then those hats, we want those, so downbeat, snare, hat, and then that kick. So we have downbeat, hat, kick, snare. So what we want to do is lay that out so it is down, snare, hat, hat, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, hat, hat, kick, snare. So I'm going to try to get this right first try. If you see an edit, you know what happened. Down, snare, hat, hat, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, hat, hat, kick, snare. Okay. So that actually went really well. So let's hear it in context. Now, that, that is sampled from a Rick James track. It'll be in the description. This is from a James Brown track. That will also be in the description. There's an LFO on the Rick James voice. So you'll hear it fade in and out. So... That's the drums, that's the entire sampled component. So let's move on to the bass. We have the Roland JP8 here. So there's two oscillators, each one is set to sawtooth, tuned an octave apart with a little bit of detune on the upper oscillator. So we're running it through a chorus just to get a little more weight, and then filter is about halfway open, a little more than halfway, with about a third of the resonance on it to kind of emphasize the like mid-range. It's a mono patch with a little bit of portamento, so you'll have glide between notes. That's really all the patch notes you need, and then it's... And then the second part is... Right, it's, it's pretty simple. So for the final component, we have the upper lead. So in the intro, it's played by a piano, like an actual piano sound with heavy reverb. Once the drums come in, it's backed by a synth that's kind of like this. So the way that I created that is an SH-01A patch where the sawtooth is 100% and then you have pulse at about 50% with really fast pulse width modulation, so you get heavy detune. Then you want the sub oscillator about a third of the way, just to give it a little extra weight. And then, very important is the envelope settings. So you want a quick decay, but a slow release. So depending on the gate that you have in your sequencer, you might end up having it kind of do this, where it just decays way too fast. You just kind of have to tweak your envelope settings or your gate settings if that's possible. To close out the video, let's hear the finished track one more time, but this time with the Stylophone Gen R8. 
<laughs> on autotune vocals. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at that beat, support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash that beat, and uh, until next time, to peace, love, and the Jupiter 8. Oh, 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 oh,